For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Today we got, as per usual, daily sniping filter, and today is going to be a little bit different just because it'll be a little more fun. We have a brand new one, but in the sense that the market kind of crashed for a specific type of player, which will definitely help with the potential Blitz promo. But before I get into all this, go check out the new overlay in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Tell me what you guys think about it. My designer just finished this. It looks awesome. It's a little overlay for like my face cam. It's going to be on Twitch and it's going to be on here. Let me know if you'd like it on YouTube. If not, I'll just keep it to Twitch only. But I think it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna, I plan to animate it and get like a little lightning shock up the borders of it. I think it'll look really cool once I have it done. All said and done, you know. So, um, back to the video. Actually, before I get back to the video, we are now at 299 subs. You guys are giving me awesome support. That's like 20 and 15 or 20 to 18 subs in the last two days. And all I've done is ask you guys. So, again, I'm going to keep asking you guys because clearly I ask and you guys love to respond. So, please go down below. Drop the sub. Comment and like. You know, the sub helps a lot. It doesn't take much out of you guys. If you drop the sub, you could easily turn me from... 300 to a thousand in the next month or so so everyone that's watching this just go drop the sub and keep helping us grow you guys are gonna be a part of something special and you're making this you're making this grow so fast it's crazy how fast we're growing anyways now into the video so let me show you guys what i'm talking about so i picked up this pat pete finally and i bought it for like 540k and you know i knew it was a dumb idea i did but i wanted it now because i because i can and it's just an issue it's an impatience issue that i have but if you go check the combine players look at this Look at this. This is unreal. Hold up. It's crazy how cheap these cards are right now. 450k for Byron Jones, who was selling for 540 yesterday. And then 470 for Pat Pete that I bought for like five, whatever I just said before. I forgot the number, the exact number. But this is crazy. Like these cards crash bad. So the goal, look at this Mariota. This Mariota goes for 450, 429. The goal of today is to get as many combine players for 400 to 420k as you can, and then just sit on them, wait for a potential blitz, or even another great method that I've been saying is buy this card for 420, quick sell it, get two random nap players, and that is now 297 overalls on your team for about 200k each. That's a crazy value if you're gonna keep them. Like I had Vern, I kept Vernon Davis, I kept Vernon Davis, and I kept Odell. And if you want Odell Beckham, he's like 470 right now. And if you filter him out, probably like 460. If you want them, these are the cheapest they're probably going to get during the promo. After the promo, they'll get cheaper. But during the promo, if there is a blitz, these will be... Like, if you want to take advantage of a potential blitz, what you do is you snipe these, you snipe them out for like 410, 415. And then you just wait. And then when the blitz comes out, you can sell them for like probably 550. Like, that's a big, that's like 150k gain with that, without tax, you know. So I highly recommend you guys take advantage of this price right now. I wish I could, but I'm broke because I bought everything that I could in sight when this promo dropped. But I don't regret it. I'm gonna play some weekend league on stream today. Hopefully, I like the new Vernon Davis and the new Pat Pete. I can't imagine that I won't. So now, if you guys want to get a little more specific, because obviously this filter, it's a little overcrowded. Let's see what the cap value is looking like. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Okay, so a decent one if you want to just separate it slightly would be 71 to 80. Gets you a little bit bigger. Obviously, cuts out a lot though. So let's see if I go by offense only. I can't stress this enough. You guys have to be on this post today because this is hot right now. Cards just came out. Do it as soon as you can. I know it's Saturday. Some people have school. Obviously, people have work. People that don't have school, go check this out. All right. So, I think all offense might work, actually. Hold up. Yeah, okay. All defense and all offense definitely works. Look, 423 right here for Daniel Hunter. Highly recommend you sit on this all day. Like, it is crazy, these prices. And, obviously, after this, after the promo goes is done, they'll be down to probably, like, 350 But... But these cards still retain value for the potential of a blitz. And because these cards are kind of insane. Like I said yesterday, Pat Pete and Byron Jones are endgame cards. Like, they will. They can be in your team from now to the, to the Madden 20. And there will be no issue with them playing. So just getting that out there. Now, let's see if I can bring this down just a tiny bit. To see if it, were, it applies to people with less money. So you get the, the 92s crashed also. These were at about 120 yesterday. A little bit over 100. So they're at 93k. If you can get these for about 80 to 85k scoop them up just do it do it now because you can also put these guys back into a set and get them you can sell them for scouts I highly recommend you sell the um, 97s for scouts and not the 92s but there's so much that could be done with these let's see the offense 90k for good win you can even keep this card this card's insane for like a budget team that needs speed this marquis goodwin's a crazy card 
Kenyon Drake too. Very fast. You guys want to complete the Chris Johnson set today is the day to do that. Now, let's see if I can go down a tiny bit more. Because like as these go down, obviously, the margin to make profit keeps going down and down. Okay, these finally adjusted at least a little bit, so they're 80k now. But still, don't even bother with these. Stick to the 91. Skip these. Now, if you go to the all offense, you got Colton Miller, 23k. She's very cheap for an 88. But if you're, I would get these for around 17 to 18k, and then just resell and make like a 3k profit, or just put them into the set and try to collect them. If you can snipe every single card out of every position, you could probably get the the full card for very cheap. Now. This one isn't really profitable because now they're down to 17k. Like, if you get them for 10k or 11k, you could obviously sell them for a profit of about 3k. But you know, 3k, 3k. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but like, there's a bigger profit. There's not much more for this card to go down. Like, at least a 22k, you could snipe one of those out for 10 to 11 and then make like 10k. This one you snipe for 10 to 11 after reduction, you make like 5, 6k. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's just these are hard to get big, big snipes on. So definitely stick to these 96 to 97s right here. Another one just went up. Gonna give you guys one brief overview of this because this is crazy. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna tell you guys the most the most valuable ones in my opinion. That if you can snipe for a cheap price, they will go back up. So McCaffrey's value because of he is one of the best running backs in the game powered up. And he can catch. And he's on a Panthers team team. Vernon Davis isn't that valuable, although if he had a high if his speed was like too high, he would have been valuable. Just shame he's not. I like him though. Odell's one of the most valuable ones, so if you can get this guy for 420, 430, hold on to that. I assure you that you can sell it for 500k later. What else is there? Deshaun Jackson, highly valuable. He's only going for 480 right now. Oh no, he's going for 470. You know, if you get him, oh no, he's going for 460. Still highly valuable. He might be the speed, the best speed wide receiver in the game. Obviously, every receiver can hit 99, but on a pure speed basis, like a Tyree Kill, Deshaun, like he's the best one out of that category. Obviously, you can just power up or down have a better card. And this one's only like 510, I believe. Yeah. It's Jason Kelsey and these Josh Allens. Uh, they're limited time cards, so they quick sell for 500k. So there's not really much leeway with that. I mean, if you can get it for 400 and someone's that dumb to do that, I guess that's a snipe, but it's not going to happen. Very, very rare. I, I've never seen a limited time card below 500k. Now, this John Ross, he looks really good, but again, any card has 99 speed. So, like, at this point, Madden with the chems kind of ruined the speed wide receiver aspect. Like, in years past, you wanted a Tyreek on your team and then a tall Randy Moss. And then someone intermediate that runs really crisp routes like an AB, let's say. But this year, you want you want three tall receivers with Sprinter and uh, John Madden. That's literally it. Because why would you want a 5'11 John Ross with 99 speed with pretty decent catching stats when you could have a Calvin Johnson with pretty much 99 speed with 99 catching stats or an Odell with 99 speed with Cam's and everything with 99 catching stats? Or Randy Moss with 99 speed with 99 catching stats. Or Tyree Kill, same thing. Like, I have three 99 speed receivers besides Calvin. Calvin's one off. I think he's a 98. But you guys you guys comprehend the point. So now, that's about it for these cards. Um, I'll give you guys one last little tip on the way out real quick. Let's go. Because New Ultimate Legends did just come out, so these are still kind of relevant for the day. So hold up one sec if we go to these. Just don't stay tuned. You know, don't, don't leave now. These are still very, very useful. 97s are 250k. Oh my god, go hop on this right now. Go hop on this right now. This is crazy. Let's sort by all offense. Nope, still too packed. Let's sort by left tackle. Go get these, go snipe these for 220 to 250 and hold on to them. This cha training is crazy cheap right now. Hold up. These are 26k. That means that Pat Mahomes are now in all those cards like 500k. Wow. I wish I had a coin so that I can go train car. Like, I wish I had a card to power up. Wow, these are crazy cheap. What are the 98s going for? Calvin's down to 410. Okay, these aren't going to move too much because these are the best ones. And then Night Train Lane and Walter Payton will be meeting them soon. I love Walter Payton. I really do. But his catching, you know, not good. So he's just the same as any other running back in this game. And then Night Train Lane. Why do they gotta make him so slow? Because if you, if you if he's not if he's not in the Lions team team, he will have a 95-ish speed, 99 speed to powered up, not 95, 96. My bad. That's ridiculous for a night train. Like, why would you want that? I don't get how Madden releases cards when they're not useful. If, like, if you're gonna get the best bang for your buck, I wouldn't be this guy. And the one thing that he always has that always gets me excited about him is his hit power. But again, that's not gonna make up for the lack of speed. That at this point, like hit power is irrelevant compared to speed. That sucks. That was kind of a waste. Um, 
And Donovan McNabb is at the cheapest one. Again, Donovan McNabb doesn't really compete with the other quarterbacks either. It doesn't make sense. Like, yes, throw under pressure is a 94. It's, like, he beats Vic in medium, throw under pressure, and pay, play accuracy and throw power. But when you come it up, the throw powers are both 99, just about. The medium accuracy is, uh, okay, the medium accuracy is the only thing Donovan really gets him in and throw under pressure because the other ones are kind of irrelevant. No one really does play action passes anymore. At least competitive ones don't. And then the throw into power, throw power is the same. And then the speed he beats him, and he speeds him by a good amount. So, because the three speed is a big difference. So I'm not really a fan of this McNabb. But that is besides the point. So thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully he's helped you out. Because today is a big day to attack this market and make coins. I'm kind of upset I have no coins and I can't be partaking in this. But please attack the market. It's Ultimate Legends and Combine Galore right now. They are dropped in price by like 20%. Go hop on that. Ultimate Legends more so than the rest. I cannot believe the training value. Like if you want to get training, today is the day. Go buy those 97 cards. And um, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, go down below and drop the sub. It means a lot to me. Who wants to be my 300 sub? I think I'm one to two away. I'm pretty sure I'm 299, but I could be 298. Haven't checked. But I'd appreciate it a lot, man. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.